Double tapping in Rocket League is as simple as hitting the ball off the backboard and into the goal, usually while in the air the whole time. While the concept is simple, getting consistent double taps requires good aerial car control, a great first touch, and a fast read off the bounce. Each of those mechanics can take weeks to years to master depending on your commitment to the game. If you don't have each of these skills down, don't worry. Training double taps is a great way to improve each of those mechanics. Generally, you should be practicing shots that are outside of your comfort zone, so learning how to double tap before learning air dribbling and other more advanced mechanics can be preferred. Last week we focused on fast aerialing, which is a soft prereq to learning how to double tap. Fast aerials will help you get to the ball quick enough to get a good first touch along with the other benefits of using less boost and beating your opponents to the ball. When learning how to double tap, focus on getting space between you and the ball after your first touch. That can be done a few ways. First, vary the speed at which you hit the ball. If you hit it too fast, you won't have enough time to read its bounce and reposition your car to score. If you hit the ball too slow, there might only be enough space between the ball and the wall to hit a tight angle. Second, don't boost through the ball. Once you hit the ball, stop boosting until you think you know where the ball is going to be after the bounce. Double taps are all about timing and reading the bounce, so give yourself time and space to make adjustments. It might even help to try and boost backwards after you hit the ball to give yourself a bigger cushion. Third, go for double taps when you're further from the goal. If you try this mechanic too close to the goal, there won't be a lot of time to score. Conversely, if you hit the ball from your third of the field, you may not have the boost to make the necessary adjustments. If you've ever played pool or billiards, you might have noticed that spinning the ball by hitting it on the side, not directly through the center of mass, causes the ball to bounce off the walls at different angles. Rocket League works the same way. Start your training by focusing on a strong first touch right in the center of the ball. Backboard reads are harder when the ball has spin, so minimizing the spin can give you a strong foundation to build from. Begin by trying to hit the ball straight forward directly over the center of the net. As you progress, start trying to hit the ball further to the left and right of center and learn how to read those bounces too. One of my downfalls is that I tend to have too much forward momentum, so in making adjustments, it might be beneficial to try to not boost forward, just left and right or up and down, while letting your momentum carry you into the ball. You'd be surprised at how high of a rank you would need to be for your opponents to have good backboard defense. Learning and implementing double taps into your core gameplay can help you climb all the way into champ ranks much easier, and it's useful all the way up to pro play. My favorite training packs to learn double taps are Devo by Torsos, and when you have those down, double tap training by Whey Protein. It will take some time to learn how to double tap, but it will improve your gameplay tenfold. That pretty much covers double taps. I hope you learned something from these tutorial videos, and every like and comment keeps me motivated. If you want to be more involved, join the community. The Discord link is in the description below. Happy grinding!